I've seen a very interesting feature in this anon. It has quite a long name. This busy curve cat tools for CNC milling and laser cutting. I will give you the link uh, later or on the blog on Blender dash addons.org. I open Blender, press Shift A, um, and I add a circle. Then I go to this tab, Context Object Data, scroll up, and then press uh, 2D. Go in Edit Mode, select all, Shift D, and then X. S for scale, select all, press a uh, right click, then I go here, busy cut, boolean, then I go out of edit mode, then convert to mesh, go in edit mode, uh, extrude on the Z. Sometimes you will see here too many edges. If you see that, you can press uh, F3, merge by distance, and then you can merge by distance. Uh, so you get rid of um, if there are too many edges. I go out of edit mode. I go here to the modifier tab, solidify. Then I add also a bevel modifier. I put this on angle. Um, then I'll turn this down a bit. Add a few of these. Then shade it smooth. Go to this tab. Then Go to normals, auto smooth, and maybe I need also to add a weight normal, and then I should have a good um, shading. Let me see if we can. By the way, this is the EV Express add-on. That's um, an add-on I made myself. That's to set up a scene quite quickly um, for EV, but you can also use it for cycles. Give it a little bit metallic. Metallic is a bit lighter usually. Uh, metallic here. Yeah. That's roughness. All right. Too many add-ons. Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> 
As Jack, it was not my intention to show so much of the, of the EV Express add-on. Mm, but maybe if you are interested, now you are here. I add composting nodes, go here. Compositor. And the result a group frame and this is also cool and this is normal fx that's pretty weird so what I can do is for example If you go inside, What you can do is define um, according to the normals, so everything that's pointing up, you can give that different hue saturation of value, or of course you can plug something else in. And AO, yeah, group, AO mix. So you can mix the ambient occlusion. This one. Right, thank you for watching and um, I will look for more add-ons. If you know a good add-on, let me know for Blender 2.8.